Canada's wild expanse of breathtakingly beautiful landscapes stretching across vast distances make it perfect for a road trip. If you want to see soaring mountains, sparse tundra or tree-lined coasts, Canada offers it all. From short scenic drives to a multi-day action-packed road trip, this massive country has some of the best driving options in the world. Here's Canada's best road trips across the country and in each region. Best road trips in Western Canada Sea to Sky Highway, British Columbia Start, Vancouver, and Whistler. Distance 254 miles, 409 kilometers. Otherwise known as Highway 99, this unforgettably spectacular cliffside roadway links a string of communities between West Vancouver and Lillooet and is the main route to Squamish and Whistler from Metro Vancouver. If you can take your eyes off the collage of mountains and sea, the winding road has several worthwhile stops, especially if you're in the market for hiking, climbing, mining history or, at the opposite end of the spectrum, drinking small batch alcoholic beverages. Icefields Parkway, Alberta Start, Jasper, and, Lake Louise, distance 142 miles, 230 kilometers. There are amazing road trips, then there's the Icefields Parkway, a 142-mile-long ribbon of asphalt passing through some of Canada's most elemental and pristine landscapes en route. Giant mountains, mammoth moose, craning trees and gargantuan glaciers brood moodily from the sidelines. You can also travel it with a challenging multi-day bike ride, giving you more time to contemplate stop-offs at Cerulean Peta Lake, powerful Athabasca Falls and the hikeable Athabasca Glacier, a frozen tributary of the colossal Columbia Icefield. Dinosaur Trail and Hoodoo Drive, Alberta Start and End, Drumheller, distance 45 miles, 73 kilometers. The Dinosaur Trail is a 30-mile, 48 kilometers, loop that runs northwest from the town and the stunning scenery is worth the drive, badlands and river views await at every turn. It takes you past Midland Provincial Park and the vast Horsethief Canyon and its picturesque views. Glide peacefully across the Red Deer River on the free, cable-operated Blariot Ferry. The 15-mile, 25-kilometers, Hoodoo Drive starts about 11 miles, 18-kilometers, southeast of Drumheller on Highway 10. It's usually done as an out-and-back, with Wayne as the turnaround point. Between Rosedale and Lehigh you'll find the best examples of hoodoos, weird, eroded, mushroom-like columns of sandstone rock. There's also an interpretive trail. Grasslands Ecotour Scenic Drive, Southern Saskatchewan Start and End, Grasslands National Park. Distance 12 miles, 20 kilometers, or 50 miles, 80 kilometers, round trip from Valmarie. This drive follows a well-signposted course through the West Block, starting 9 miles, 15 kilometers, east of Valmarie. Pick up a map and advice at the visitor's center. There are seven points of interest and two short walks. Do the full 50 mile, 80 kilometers, drive in a couple of hours or drive into Frenchman Valley Campground and back, 21 miles, 34 kilometers. A highlight is Top Dogtown where prairie dogs line the side of the gravel road. This is the only place in Canada where colonies of black-tailed prairie dogs still exist in their native habitat. There is also the possibility to spot bison, with the herd in the park now numbering over 400 plains bison were reintroduced in 2005 after a 120-year absence. Best road trips in eastern Canada Thousand Island Parkway, Ontario Start, Kingston, and Brockville, distance 52 miles, 85 kilometers. Stretching from Kingston to Brockville, the Thousand Island Parkway is Canada's equivalent to Italy's Lake Como, think opulent summer mansions, picture-perfect vineyards, and discreet restaurants serving locally produced beer and out-of-this-world food. All you are really missing is George Clooney, though many a hockey player and even some prime ministers are rumored to own property in the area. The parkway is comprised of over 1,800 islands on the St. Lawrence River and the itinerary takes you from Kingston to Ottawa, along the whole of the parkway and up to Morrisburg before heading north to the nation's capital. It's a stunning drive and while it can easily be completed in a few days, you'll want to take longer to thoroughly soak up the atmosphere of lake life. Lake Superior Coastline, Ontario Start, Sudbury, and, Kenora. Distance 913 miles, 1,470 kilometers. Overlooked and underexplored by many travelers, northwestern Ontario is the epitome of getting away from it all. 
This is quintessential Canada, and after your road trip you'll wonder why so few people have taken this route before you. You'll find the expected expanse of forest and some wildlife along the way, but you'll also be surprised by the great food, the amazing hospitality, and the variety of activities available at stops en route. There will be times on this route when you won't see another car for hours. And that's part of the appeal, enjoy the solitude while cruising alongside Lake Superior, keeping an eye out for moose. The Laurentians, Quebec start and end, Montreal. Distance 84 miles, 139 kilometers. The Laurentians, Les Laurentides in French, are Montreal's playground. With gentle rolling mountains, crystal blue lakes and meandering rivers bordered by towns and villages too cute for words, they're an irresistible draw. This straightforward road trip will take you through more than a half dozen delightful towns and villages, from St. Jérôme, and busy St. Sauveur des Monts to Val David, perhaps the best place to rest and chow down along the way, and Ville de Mont Tremblant, the creme of your Laurentians Gâteau. It will also introduce you to Quebec Province's oldest national park, Parc National du Mont Tremblant, before returning to the city. Gaspé Peninsula, Quebec start and end, St. Flavy, distance 560 miles, 900 kilometers. Hiking maritime mountains, exploring offshore islands and devouring fresh-caught seafood are all on the itinerary as you circle La Gaspésie, the seaside peninsula on Quebec's eastern shores, on Route 132. Cue up the Québécois sea shanties and hit the road in this francophone region, where each waterfront village is cuter than the next, and the landscape along the Gulf of St. Lawrence varies from forested peaks to sea as far as you can see. Quebec's first national park, plus several provincially protected beauties, offer excellent hiking. You can spot wildlife, too, from seabirds to whales, and lobster, on your plate. You can do this loop trip in either direction, but if you travel counterclockwise around the peninsula, as we've suggested here, you'll always have the water on your right. Where it's easier to pull over for photos or gawk at the views. Best road trips in Atlantic Canada Cabot Trail, Cape Breton start and end, Sydney. Distance 261 miles, 420 kilometers. This is the big one. The looping, diving, dipping roller coaster of a road that snakes its way around the northern tip of Cape Breton, with epic views of rolling seas, mountain passes, thick forests and, if you're lucky, the chance to spot a moose, eagle or even a whale en route. Take your time. This is a maritime classic to relish. Completed in 1932 to link Cape Breton's isolated coastal communities, people have been looping the loop for the last nine decades, and the trail remains as popular as ever. Traversing the edge of the Cape Breton Highlands National Park, it's home to some of the province's grandest scenery, richest wildlife and best hiking trails. Viking Trail, Newfoundland Start, Deer Lake, and, Lonzo Meadows, distance 326 miles, 526 kilometers. This epic highway, named for the first Europeans to touch shore here, links Newfoundland's west coast to southern Labrador, with UNESCO World Heritage Sites at Gros Morne National Park and Lonzo Meadows National Historic Site. Along the way you'll pass fog-clad coves, snow-capped mountains, stormy fjords and a wind-blown coast that is ruggedly dramatic even by Newfoundland standards. Central Coastal Drive, Prince Edward Island start and end, Charlottetown. Distance 157 miles, 253 kilometers. Prince Edward Island may be small, but it packs in a real diversity of scenery, pan-flat fields, grass-backed dunes, lonely lighthouses and sienna-colored cliffs, not to mention a wealth of white beaches and some of the warmest waters in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. This coastal route will take you to see the greatest hits of this beautiful island, including Prince Edward Island National Park and Green Gables Heritage Place, where you can learn about Anne Shirley, L.M. Montgomery's red-headed star of the Anne of Green Gables series. Pay is as pretty as it's portrayed in the books. Red dirt and sands mimic Anne's hair, while white picket fences and fields of wildflowers paint the real-life backdrop. If you want to explore further, there are actually three separate coastal routes, the Central Coastal Drivel, the North Cape Coastal Drive, and the Points East Coastal Drive. Best road trips in Northern Canada Dempster Highway, Northwest Territories Start, Dawson City, and, Anuvik. Distance 457 miles, 736 kilometers. This classic trip takes you far beyond the Arctic Circle through some of Northern Canada's most pristine scenery, 
a worthy contender for Canada's most scenic and challenging drive. It's a meditative experience, for most of the time you're alone with the road, entirely self-reliant and aware of your own smallness compared to the vastness of the landscape. It passes through dense boreal forest and bare tundra, and rises gently between snow-tipped mountains. In darker months, your drive may be illuminated by the eerie ribbons of the northern lights dancing overhead, but road conditions are best between June and September. It's an unpaved, partially potholed road with treacherous muddy sections up to Inuvik. Klondike Highway, Yukon Start, Skagway, and, Dawson City. Distance 439 miles, 708 kilometers. Follow the same basic route as the gold-crazed prospectors of 1898 to Bonanza Creek near Dawson City, only they didn't have a nice sealed highway and a car to drive. Nearly the whole trip is wonderful wilderness. These days it's an easy drive, but you'll still need to be prepared and to keep your eyes open and your wits about you, you never know what might pop out of the forest to cross the road. Best road trip across Canada The Trans-Canada Highway Coast to Coast, distance 4,847 miles, 7,800 kilometers. Buckle up as you are in for an epic journey. Canada's main vein stretches 7,800 kilometers from St. John's, Newfoundland, to Victoria, B.C., and takes in the country's greatest hits along the way. Gross Moore National Park, Cape Breton Island, Quebec City, Banff National Park and Yoho National Park are part of the path, as are major cities including Montreal, Ottawa, Calgary and Vancouver. It takes most road trippers a good month to drive coast to coast, so what are you waiting for? Fuel up, cue the tunes and put the pedal to the metal.